Okay, um, this morning uh, this question came up about concrete control joints. Um, so I've got uh, a few tools here. Uh, I've just kind of pre-placed some columns. You can see these are semi-transparent columns. Uh, and this has been a common way to deal with this in the past is if we want to show these control joints, uh, say they're this deep, uh, this one, just as an example, is showing with an upward extrusion, uh, and then this is just placed into that wall. Um, the important thing to note here is that uh, the building material, whatever it is, uh, needs to be a higher priority than the wall. So here, this is set to a 775 building material. I'm using steel just uh, because I know that it's higher than the concrete at 750. Uh, technically, we have an SEO building material in here somewhere. We should. Uh, the Air Heavy would work as well. That's $9.99. Um, so just a building material that's higher and then setting the, um, the surface override to be air. Uh, that would be on something that would be a hidden layer. So if I uh, hide that layer, uh, for example, um, then I can see that those control joints show up here. Um, and let's just orient it the same as our floor plan here. So we're looking at it this way and switching to the floor plan view. Uh, you can see that only one of those two shows up, even though the other one is, is trimming with upward extrusion. Uh, if I were to hide this one as well uh, in floor plan view, you could see that I get that reveal. The problem is I don't get the outline of that uh, reveal joint from the column. Um, and I've played around with this a bit, but uh, it seems that no matter what the wall settings are, no matter what the column settings are, no matter how they're trimmed, whether by building material or by solid element operation, uh, they don't seem to want to show that, uh, that opening or that wrap. Uh, we do, however, have uh, under our architectural design tools, uh, we have the opening tool here. Uh, and if I take my opening tool, I can set it to be a one inch deep, I can match the wall height, uh, I can offset from the center line over, um, uh, basically getting all of this set up, the head height, 10 feet, so it's the full height of the wall, uh, setting up all my pens and everything to match the wall. Um, I turn off the plan symbol so that I don't have uh, any of these kind of crazy X's or anything. I just want to show it as an empty niche, basically. Uh, if I place that into the wall, like that, um, I get this control joint, uh, obviously centered on that wall. It's connecting to the center line of the wall, but it's only this deep. It's only that one inch depth. Uh, so now, not only do I see that in floor plan, I see the reveal and that uh, uh, the wall uh, lines turning around or turning through that reveal. Um, I see it in elevation. I see it in 3D. Um, it's very movable. I don't have anything on a hidden layer. Uh, it just sits right here tied to the wall, just like a door or a window would. Um, so this seems to be probably a better uh, solution for these control joints. Um, you know, it, it doesn't deal with the operator, the solid element operations where you might get extra lines and things like that. It's just an element tied to that wall. Um, so if the wall moves, for example, um, that, uh, that reveal is going to move with it. Here you can see the other two disappear because uh, those things are on a hidden layer, so they're not going to move with the wall. Uh, so this might be the best solution moving forward to creating control joints, uh, creating maybe even some interior trim joints and things like that uh, in the walls. Uh, just something to look at and think about in the future um, using the wall hole tool as a way to show uh, just an extra level of detail and uh, eliminate some of the uh, difficulty of coordinating these details as the design may shift or change.